Hello and welcome to today's session on how to secure cloud environments. Today I want to give you a brief introduction to this presentation, talk about cloud breaches and why does it keep happening and why are we falling behind the attackers today. We'll then discuss on how we can catch up with these attacks. I'll then summarize the session and then take questions at the end. As organizations expand further into the cloud, there continues to be an influx of simple mistakes, such as misconfigurations that can expose organizations to significant security, privacy, and regulatory risks. Tripwire partnered with Dimensional Research to understand what progress organizations are making towards securing their cloud environments and what areas of improvement exist for implementing industry best practices. This presentation today will cover findings from a survey conducted by Dimensional Research in July 2020. A total of 310 qualified individuals completed the survey. All have responsibility for IT security of public cloud environments at a company with more than 100 employees. It's really valuable to understand the makeup of the respondents because it provides insight on how to interpret responses. The even spread across company size and job level is important. That means our responses are pretty representative to the industry overall. The geographic distribution is more skewed towards North America, however. It's valuable to keep this in mind as I present the results in today's session. Many enterprises are increasing cloud adoption. We have seen on-prem solutions and have been doing this for some decades. Some organizations have done a lift and shift to the cloud, but for many, hybrid cloud appears to be the trend now, and it's here already today. Cloud is a challenge we are still learning about. A few years ago, the enterprise perception was that cloud computing environments were less secure than on-premise environments. The reality is that for all organizations, except perhaps those most well-resourced large ones, infrastructure as a service has the ready potential to be substantially more secure than our on-premise environments. However, hybrid cloud is perceived as a critical challenge as it's a shared responsibility model. Environments are becoming increasingly more complex and even if security best practices are implemented in the traditional environments, they aren't necessarily being applied in their cloud environments. And cloud environments are complex enough on their own. Typically, it's not just one environment. According to a recent survey conducted by RightScale, 89% of enterprises employ a multi-cloud strategy. This has a negative impact on security staff. Analysts must be familiar with the native tools used by each cloud service provider. A separate consult is required to manage each cloud service provider or CSP environment. As the complexity of the environment increases, the operator's ability to find and remediate problems declines. Personally, I have had some experience with both Azure and AWS. I'm sure you will agree if you're familiar with these two CSPs, they are very different on how to manage and secure these environments. And this has a direct impact on the organization as security analysts need to be multi-skilled to secure these environments. But cloud adoption moves forward with or without the proper security controls in place. And all too often, we see headlines about sensitive data being leaked from publicly exposed cloud environments that were meant for internal company use only. You only have to Google cloud security breach and you get a whole page of results. Here are just some of them. As reported by CNN, Paige, Sun Paige Thompson, a 33-year-old Seattle resident and a former AWS software engineer exploited a misconfigured web application firewall 
to access a server owned and operated by Capital One. That server contained 140,000 social security numbers, 1 million Canadian social insurance numbers, 80,000 bank account numbers, and an undisclosed number of customers' personal information. Thompson then attempted to share access to the information with others online. According to ThreatPost, Imperva created an internal compute instance that was misconfigured and publicly accessible. That instance contained an AWS API key, a resource that enabled attackers to access a database snapshot and exfiltrate the information of some of its customers. Researchers from the cloud security company Divi Cloud found that breaches caused by cloud misconfigurations cost companies worldwide an estimated $5 trillion in 2018 and 2019. And this is an alarming statement. Research from Gartner reports that by 2022, at least 95% of cloud security failures will be the customer's fault. Cloud service providers provide the necessary tools and means to configure and secure these environments, and it's down to their customers to ensure that they use these tools efficiently. So with all these breaches in the headlines, we have to ask ourselves, why does this keep happening? Why are there so many security breaches in the cloud? We all know that skills gap and increasing responsibilities has securities stretched. And many security teams are still learning the various cloud server providers platforms. Hunting down configurations manually across all the cloud environments is tedious, time consuming and leaves too much room for mistakes. We've heard from some of our customers that they have a dedicated an entire engineer to doing nothing more than hunting these down and resetting them to a correct configuration. And here are some common mistakes enterprises make when moving to the cloud. We see these all the time and are the main drivers for breaks and data loss. But does this all seem familiar to you though? Are these same mistakes similar to what you would expect to see with an on-premise solution? We asked our security professionals in our survey how concerned they were about human error causing accidental public exposure of their data. Out of 310 security professionals, almost all respondents expressed concern about human error causing accidental exposure of their cloud data. 76 of the respondents admitted that maintaining security configuration in the cloud remained difficult for them. This is a very important point to remember. Keep in mind that attackers are known to run automated tools to find cloud misconfigurations exposing sensitive data. And yet, only 21% of organizations assess their overall cloud security posture in real time or near real time. 22% of organizations assess cloud security posture manually and 37% admitted their risk management capabilities are worse for in the cloud than their traditional environments. If attackers are using automated solutions is it any wonder why there are so many cloud breaches? It's time organizations started to look at automation tools themselves to help secure cloud environments. So with that said, how do we catch up with the attackers using automation in their attacks? First of all, let's look at industry best practices. They are good ones laid out by Center of Internet Security, CIS, which map back to critical security controls. They've done the heavy lifting to outline benchmarks 
for securing each of the biggest cloud providers. These are the basics, but tried and true controls. A lot of organizations today have adopted these guidelines on how to harden their cloud environments. Implementing those controls and maintaining them is best done with some automation. Our survey showed that less than 22% maintain compliance over time. The policy framework is meant to provide a foundation of security. But what's the point of implementing them if you don't maintain them, other than passing an audit? Let me put this another way to explain my point. Each vehicle on the road needs to be safe, secure and compliant, much like our cloud assets. Most countries adopt a testing program where each year a vehicle must pass a set of tests to ensure it's safe. Once it's passed the test, a certificate is issued stating the car is safe to drive and is compliant. But what happens when, just a week later, something breaks on the vehicle? and is now deemed insecure, poses a risk to others as well as the owner. The test certificate states the vehicle is good to drive and it won't be another year before a compulsory test is taken to identify the weakened vehicle. Now does this sound familiar? Well it should do. If we test our cloud infrastructure on an annual basis, we would face the same challenge. What if something gets changed after checking our system is compliant and that change exposes a data store to the public? It won't be until the next audit that this will be picked up on. Meanwhile, our attacker is out there with automation tools looking for such misconfigurations. So it's now time to fight back. You want automated solution for assessing security settings against your security policy or framework, such as CIS benchmarks. Again, attackers are using automated tools to search for your misconfigurations, so you should do too. With such solutions, you'll be able to identify immediately non-compliant settings that could be exposing you to dangerous security vulnerabilities. This is just a snippet of settings to check. So imagine doing all this across every single cloud account on every platform, etc. You want to automate as much as you can? Survey results were very mixed in terms of how automated their checks against different controls. The alarming figure of 13% state only check for compliance in time for audits and 58% check periodically. Plenty of time for a breach to occur here, wouldn't you say? Automated enforcement traditionally may not have seemed appealing. However, we now start to see use cases for this for cloud purposes. In fact, 92% in our survey said they prefer more automation of a security enforcement. With such a feature, if a user changes a configuration in a way that takes it out of compliance, you can set your tool to automatically reset it to a previous state. This reduces the time that is available for an attack and it offloads the tedious work of manually resetting configuration to free security personnel for more meaningful tasks. We are also seeing this pattern on-prem and not just cloud compliance. A lot of organizations adopt hardening standards to look for automation tools to help detect deviations and configuration drifts. You're not going to automatically enforce everything, but you want to get the right alerts. Only 51% of the security teams we surveyed received context with alerts to prohibited or suspicious behavior. Your tools should tell you that why that event matters, what risk is associated with that particular change, and how you can remediate and when. Something like a risk score would be helpful for your team in prioritizing what gets attention first. We have covered off the challenges posed to organizations today and how we can combat against these challenges. Therefore, it would be remiss of me not to mention where Tripwire can actually help. 
Tripwire has been around for over 20 years and we're commonly known for file integrity monitoring solution Tripwire Enterprise. However, over the years, our solutions and portfolio have increased. Today, Tripwire products can provide security visibility into endpoints and infrastructure. Tripwire Enterprise focuses on integrity monitoring on various number of endpoints, such as operating systems, network devices, database monitoring, active directory monitoring, and also cloud monitoring. There's also a real-time element alerting on changes on multiple platforms ranging from Windows, Linux, Unix, Solaris, AIX, to name but a few. In addition to change detection, Tripwire Enterprise can also help with policy compliance. Tripwire has the industry's largest policy library with over a thousand combinations of policies ranging from the likes of ISO 27001, CIS, PCI DSS, SOX, NIST, to name a few. These policies are free to customers and can be imported into Tripwire Enterprise. The policies contain tests that we can run on endpoints to determine if the endpoint will pass or fail a specific control. For example, tests such as checking for technical controls like minimum password length, encryption states, etc. can be quickly determined and reported on. Tripwire IP360 is a vulnerability management solution. IP360 can help you identify and prioritize vulnerabilities with agents and agent lists. By using agent technology in our portfolio, it makes it easier for organizations to secure remote endpoints, checking for changes, ensuring compliance, and checking for vulnerabilities. As we come towards the end of our session today, let me summarize on a few points we've covered. We learned that attackers are persistent in attacking cloud infrastructures and are adopting automation tools to assess environments for exposed controls. Organizations can adopt their own automation in security by continuously monitoring cloud configurations, alert on change and configuration breaches, and also help stop and remediate any potential weakened controls. The survey revealed more organizations are moving to the cloud and many recognize there is a gap in their security posture in securing these environments. And we learned that organizations adopting multiple cloud service providers require multi-skilled employees to manage the cloud infrastructure. And finally, Tripwire has a cloud management solution that automates compliance in multiple cloud environments as well as other products in its portfolio. And that concludes our session today. Thank you for your time.